Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the technology that lives on my wrist. I've got a Fitbit Flex here, and also the latest Jawbone Up 24. I wanna to talk to you about the actual hardware itself, the comfort, and also the accuracy that these deliver. So let's start things off with a look at the actual products themselves, the materials, the comfort factor, and then I'll move on to the applications that support them. You'll also notice that a third device has crept into the frame. Now I'm not gonna review this in this particular video, but this is the Samsung Gear Fit. This is a smartwatch or smart device. It gives you notifications, it also tracks your fitness. It's got a heart rate sensor in the back. If I just undo the strap, you can see the little heart rate sensor on the back there. And it's a really nice device, but I haven't had this long enough to really comment on whether it's good or not. So please do subscribe to the channel. There'll be a video of this coming up quite soon. Now the two products I introduced you to at the start of this video are these two little things here. This one is the Fitbit Flex, which I've used for about a year now. And this is the latest Jawbone Up 24. They do very similar things. They track your steps. Uh, they track your sleep as well, and they give you some feedback as to how active you are throughout the day. Now the Fitbit Flex is a flexible uh, silicon wristband. You can get it in different colors. It's got some slots cut into it there, and then it's got two little tabs that you locate into the slots to give you this particular size that you need. Now you can also buy a larger one of these, and it just gives you a different amount of adjustment and fits larger wrists. Now the actual tracking device, actually comes out for charging. So you slot this out the back and it looks like what would be a little sort of mini USB type dongle. You can see it's sitting here in my hand. And this comes with a separate charger, USB cable, and you locate these connectors into the little sort of dock charger to charge the device. It's normally good for about a week between charges. And then you just slot it back into the wristband and you're good to go. Now you get some feedback on this one. So if you double tap, you get some little uh, LEDs come across. You have to do it quite hard sometimes. And this shows you how active you've been. So the more LEDs that show up, the more active you have been. Now I'm actually recording this early in the morning, so I've only got one LED lit up. You can also sort of tap quickly and put it into a sleep mode. And you do this last thing at night, and then you do it again first thing in the morning to wake it up and then it will actually tell you how well you slept throughout the night. And I'll show you that in the application in a short while. So that's the Fitbit Flex. This is the Jawbone Up 24, again, available in different colors. Uh, this has got no sort of adjustment other than the flexibility of the actual band. And it's also got a couple of extra bits on here. So we've got a little cover that we can take off, and this is what plugs into the charging cable that they supply in the box. And then we've also got a push button here, and this is how you interact with the device. So if we push it once, you'll see a little sun come up, and that means it's in daytime mode, and we can double tap and do various pushes with this to put it into sleep mode, etc. Out of the two, the most comfortable one is definitely the Fitbit Flex. This one I just find a little bit rigid on the wrist, um, and a little bit of sort of harder material. This is a little bit more forgiving, just a little bit more comfort added into this one. That's not to say this one's uncomfortable, it's just if I was choosing between the two, I would choose the Fitbit Flex for the comfort factor. So now let's move on and have a look at the application. So the first application we got here is the Fitbit app. And this actually tracks the amount of steps you've done, the distance, calories burned, the quality of your sleep, active minutes, uh, some weight tracking as well. And you can also actually input what food you've eaten throughout the day and what water or fluid you've drunk. And that gives you a good feedback as to how many calories you can actually consume throughout the day to maintain your weight. It has got some social features, so you can add friends and challenge them, uh, but it doesn't work too well, in my opinion. I don't think they've really explored that side of the application a great deal. It also gives you an idea of the battery life left in your device. Now this is today, so not much has happened today. Let's go back to the previous day. So this is yesterday. Now I wanted to show you this because they do track steps quite differently. So yesterday it's saying I did 4,092 steps. Let's remember that figure in our mind. It also tells me that I had seven hours and seven minutes of sleep. If I tap into this, it gives me a little sort of uh, display here, which tells you when I was restless, when I was awake, and then the other areas are when I was in a deep sleep. 
you can rotate the app around to get this into a larger view as well. But it tells me I was seven times awake and 18 times I was actually restless throughout the night. And then we can go back again, let's have a look at the previous day, which was probably a little bit more active, 4,679 steps. And then we go into the weekend, 7,236 steps. And then the day before, 6,000 steps, you get the idea. But let's concentrate on, uh, let's go to yesterday again, which is 4,092 steps. And we're gonna compare that to what the uh, Jawbone Up 24 says. So we come out of this application and we're gonna go into the Jawbone Up application. And this is presented very differently. Nice graphical display here. Shows you the quality of your sleep and also a percentage of the amount of steps you've taken throughout the day. And we're gonna go back to yesterday. Now remember when we were looking at the Fitbit Flex app, it said I'd done just over 4,000 steps. Well the Jawbone Up says I did 2,043 steps. So almost half the amount of steps were tracked using this device compared to the Fitbit Flex. I find that quite interesting and also quite concerning because which one is accurate? Is this one more accurate or this one? Well, I'm gonna go with the Fitbit Flex because I've used that for almost a year and I've grown to trust how accurate it is. So let's go back again and we'll have a further look at this. So let's have a look at the sleep pattern. So we can tap on this one where it says 85% and it does a very similar thing. It actually gives you a nicer uh, sort of display or graphical graph here of how long you were awake for, uh, when you were sound asleep and when you were in a light sleep state. So a nice way of displaying it and it also gives you an overall percentage score. So I think it, this is really nice, presented much nicer, in fact, than the Fitbit Flex app. So I, I wish there was an amalgamation of the two. Uh, that would be the ideal situation. And then we can tap back just to go back into the, the main display. We've also got an up feed and this displays what other people are actually achieving with regards to uh, sort of steps, etc. But I've got nobody else in my social feed there and I'll tell you why. I was actually using the Up24 for around about a week and a half, two weeks, and then the app wouldn't let me log in. I contacted the Jawbone support, didn't get any, any reply at all, so I had to set up a new profile and start all over again. Otherwise, I would have more data to share with you. I think it goes back to the previous day, so this is the 14th of April, and then you can see from there backwards I've got no activity actually stored because I had to start this new profile up. But that said, even though I had that little bit of disappointment, I think this app is much nicer presented, uh, much better UI, but just a shame that I got sort of uh, booted out of my previous performance. So in summary, which would I choose? Well, I love the app that comes with the Jawbone Up 24. But I must say that my choice, if I was buying one today, would still be the Fitbit Flex. I think it's very, very comfortable. I think you get the information you need within the app, albeit not quite displayed as richly, but I think this is definitely my sort of fitness tracker of choice at the moment. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you use to track your fitness and also hit like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.